Hi, SQL folks. Good evening. Do you know what a common mistake uh, SQL developers uh, often make? The one is they don't declare the, the exact matching data type when assigning a value to a variable team. Okay. So here I will show you the um, example team. See, can you see here? Uh, warnings, type conversion expression. Okay, convert implicit, convert implicit. There is a implicit conversion is happening team. This is very dangerous. When the database size is like very large or table size is very large team. Okay, so this impacts a lot. Okay, so currently I'm working on a 40 terabyte databases, uh, database size uh, team, like uh, such kind of huge uh, database. Like uh, we are seeing a lot of these kind of issues because of these issues, you know. So like, uh, you know, see here, uh, parallelism is uh, parallelism, you know. It impacts a lot to the C uh, CPU team, okay. So like uh, this query itself taking a lot of CPU, what about other queries? Uh, other queries may starve for the CPU and all. Not only CPU team, even it takes a lot of memory also. Uh, I will explain you very clearly on this one. Uh. How we gonna avoid these simple mistakes? This is really a silly mistake, team. Hmm? So, like, uh, uh, I mean, because of this uh, issue, they don't get any wrong results and all. But uh, queries will take time, lot of time, hmm? in the background to run. So let me explain you this issue. See, there is a table team I have created in a one one of the database, and uh, I have inserted uh, the data into this table, orders table, sample data almost a million rows, okay? SP underscore space user. So this is the command you can always use team uh, to know the number of rows in a table. Don't use uh, select count star from table that locks the table team, okay? Say lock, though it is say lock, but th that will take a lot of time. It will consume a lot of resources. Always use SP underscore space user to know the number of rows in a table, okay? Yeah, see, these many rows in a table, and there are indexes also on this table team. Like uh, we have a two indexes. Normally for every table in a normalized database, normalized tables, okay? Every table must have clustered index, right? Like, hmm? so you see on, a, on order ID, we have a clustered index. On order ID, on order ID, we have a non-clustered index team. Okay, this is a table structure team. Yeah, so now, okay, so somebody is trying trying to get the data of some order ID. Okay. So this is the order ID people wanted to retrieve. Hmm? But the team, this order ID, this order ID in the table, see, this is a where care column team. Hmm? So team, sometimes people may mistakes on designing the tables also team. Okay. So this is also very important team. If it is integer, if it is integer, uh, data type it has to accept then make it integer only team while designing the tables see if it already created varchar then leave it you know this is very important team because rdbms it's not for uh, like uh, characters text related rdbms you know handles the data i mean integer data types and date data types it handles better when it is comes to text related rdbms like uh, even if you create an index also, that won't improve that much unnecessarily. For small size, it is okay. But where when it is big size, uh, when it is big size team, like even indexes also not help you. Okay. So mostly, mostly try to avoid uh, character columns. When it is possible to give that one as an integer, give it integer only team. Hmm? Remember, because, uh, because of that also, like you don't understand this one thing. Like uh, when you understand this thing is when you are really working on a very big size databases, terabyte databases, then the importance of the data types also you will come to know that time. Okay. Because data types also very, very important thing. Hmm? Uh, yeah. So team, see after growing a table, after grown up to some size, it is impossible to change where to integer. You have to say, you have to take some downtime, you have to change. So like, you know, uh, that is impossible. That's why, you know, while designing the table itself, you have to take a, I mean, you have to declare the 
um, relevant to data type only. Okay, just blindly go and give the data types. Don't do that. Even character related also, if you are giving, just give the length also. Okay, blindly give 2000, 1000, like that. Don't give it in. Okay, what is the maximum? So that maximum length you can declare and you can give it to the uh, columns. Huh? So apart from that tip, yeah, we have a, this table already defined. So this is a var care column. So when you try to retrieve the data, okay, see, uh, like uh, maybe uh, like when you are getting the data through stored processor, in the stored processor also, like when you are passing the in value like an integer, okay, when you are passing a value integer, as you are passing a character, you know, see the differences, let's see, it. see here, uh, we are passing the integer value. I mean, here directly, like uh, this is the value, it will be replaced. Okay, so this is the value. And here, uh, what is the value till? Here, this value, like this. See, both will give the same result only, but uh, how it will run in the background, that is most important. Okay, you will get the right result only, but uh, you know, this query, it impacts a lot in the background because this order is order ID is a character column. If it is an integer column, then this query performs better. If it is character related, this uh, query performs better team. You have to, what I'm saying team here, very simple. So what is the data type of this column? The same data type, huh? the same data type you have to give it to team. Like when you are declaring a variable also, you have to give the same data type as well as same length, huh? same length also. See here, var char 10, here also var char 10. Not even like char 10, don't do that. Okay, n var char, no, don't do that. So whatever here, exactly you need to keep it to here, here itself. Then. Okay, when you make it char also, that will be improved comparatively integer. But uh, again, it takes some more reads more pages it will read. What is a uh, logical read? What is page read and all? We'll discuss that one uh, later. Yeah. So team, let's see here. Uh, for now, let me assign, instead of passing, giving the values directly, let's give like this. Okay. Yeah. So I am running these two queries team. Let's see. Uh, I think better to keep the execution plan also. Hmm? Yeah, oh, it's already selected in estimated execution plan. Huh? If you see here, see both uh, gave the same results only. Okay, so re result wise, you will get a data. That's why people won't notice that that's a problem and all day. Because see, always from the front end people, whether they are getting the right data or not, that only they will check it. Developers also, they will fulfill whether, yes, they are getting the data, full, uh, the requirement is fulfilled and they will close the tickets. But uh, when it comes to the DBS, that uh, that problem, you know, who will check it? Obviously, it comes to the DBA guys. When like, you know, at the time of running this query, some other queries will be impacted. Who will look into those issues? DBA guys. See, Tim? So the problem, let me show you. Yes. See here. See, uh, select star from orders. See, two queries, right? See, most of the cost, most of the cost, where is where it is happening? In the query one, see, in the query one. So this is an integer. Huh? So because the order ID is a character name, but you assigned a integer value, see? Because that is taking a lot of time, 100%. Suppose this takes a, like, a, suppose 100 seconds it will take to run that query. 100 seconds, this itself it will, I mean, 100 seconds it is taking, and here, zero seconds it is taking, I mean, to run the query. See, the huge difference take here. Okay, see why it is uh, taking more time here to run. Hmm? Because team, see here, if you keep the cursor here, see, convert to implicit. So team, you pass an integer value, you pass an integer value, but the boss in the background in the table, there is a character, character, right? See, that is converting like this. Okay, convert to implicit. So, uh, so you pass the integer, right? You pass the integer. So what is happening inside team? See, order ID is a character, character, right? Order ID, order ID is a var char. 
So thus that entire orders in the table that is converting into integer t. That is converting into all the values it is converting into integer in a table. See, that's why, huh? that's why, see, uh, it is taking a lot of time. Hmm? So converting all rows in a table into a integer means, uh, that's why there is no index C here, index scan. Okay, row by row it is converting. Okay, so team, that's a problem here. See, because that takes a lot of time, right? Obviously, parallelism comes into picture because that requires a lot of CPU. It has row by row, it has to go and convert. It will take a lot of time. And that requires a lot of CPU. See, parallelism also happening. Why parallelism, day? Huh? Why parallelism? Like uh, when a query cost is more than the cost to threshold parallelism, you know, uh, then that will take a parallelism. That query, it will use a multiple, uh, convert into multiple threads that work. Okay, see, parallelism day. Hmm? Uh, see, uh, there is a kind of uh, warning message, type conversion expression, see, invert, convert to implicit conversion. Hmm? See, may affect seek plan. See, it has to uh, seek team, but uh, it converted to index scan because of the wrong data type. See, this is very silly reason team. Hmm? So you just need to give course team. Uh, you just uh, give it to com, but uh, you pass it directly integer value. Uh, see, when you directly give the course team, see, directly go on hitting that uh, index and getting the data. See, index seek, direct index seek. This won't take time. Uh, not only team, see, the query cost, right? Query cost is more. Uh, here, if you see the, uh, like, uh, page reads, page reads also, let's see. Uh, just uh, statistics I will make it on like how much time huh? rows I mean how many uh, logical reads physical reads that and all it will show team hmm? so let's make it a uh, statistics I want statistics time on uh, in the messages huh? just go to at the bottom can you see this is the last one team this is the okay First one. Hmm? Let's compare this. Huh? Let's compare this team. See here, scan count is only one team. Okay, scan count is only one here. But here, scan count is nine. Logical reads just three only. Oh my God! See logical reads. Oh my God! Seven thousand six one two logical reads are there. Okay, physical reads just one. But here, physical reads. Oh my God! Six. 2,394 physical reads are there. Okay, see the difference. Huh? So here elapsed time, like time taken. Huh? So see CPU time, elapsed time, total. See elapsed time also zero here. See, here, 2,642 milliseconds. Okay, guys. See, so this kind of impacts, it, it, it can happen when you use the wrong data types. Let me explain you this what is physical read and uh, logical read this also team see we have a sql server right hmm? we have a sql server like when you run a query team where it will run team the query huh? it will run in a cpu right so i am explaining you what is a logical read what is a physical read and all team see we have a drives in the background right this is a drive okay so this is a drive so team, CPU is super fast. It's a jet speed. Drive is, it's not a super fast team, dead slow. Okay. So to compensate, huh? uh, like uh, uh, the difference, like the speed difference, like CPU and drive, to match the speed between these two, we have a concept called memory. Okay. We have a concept called memory team. Huh? So, like CPU directly interact with the drive team because it don't match with the <laughs> drive team because of the speed. Like see, say example team, like, you know, a CM cannot directly talk with uh, like something, hmm? some issue. CM can uh, interact with the ministers. Ministers can interact with the like MLS, something like that, right? So here also, you know, uh, see here, when it's once uh, some data team, CPU, 
it will check it here from the memory. When it's there, when it's there, the data, so it will read and uh, it will get it from the CPU. See, this is called logical read. What it is? Logical read and write. Okay. So when the data is doesn't exist in, so here uh, in the drive, from drive to here, it will get it into the memory. This is like a physical write, physical read and write. Okay. Physical read and writing. See, this is a logical read and physical. See, physical reads are so dangerous. Okay. Physical reads are so dangerous. Logical reads are okay. Team. So that's why team, like SQL server is always memory hungry. Okay. So like if you give like 16 GB RAM, it will take it. If you give 64 GB RAM also, it will take it. Why it will take all the memory? Because all the data, it will get it and it will keep it in the memory team. Okay. To avoid the physical reads and writes. You know. When the data doesn't exist in the memory team, it will go and get it. See, in the memory also, sometimes the data will not be available, suppose. And it has to insert some data into the memory. It has to keep. In such case, team, the old data, you know, it will follow some algorithms in the background. Team. The data which is old, you know, uh, that and all will be flushed out from the memory. That's why, team, in SQL server side, don't run ad hoc queries. When you run the ad hoc queries, team, Related to that data and all, related to that data, memory and all, uh, it will be occupied into that memory team, buffer. So don't run uh, ad hoc queries on the primary, I mean, uh, in the main uh, SQL Server database team. If you have a secondary replica, go and use the secondary replica for ad hoc related queries team. There is a one setting also like uh, ad hoc, uh, optimize ad hoc workloads. Uh, there is a setting like to minimize the ad hoc related memory and all. This is from SQL Server 2008, R2 onwards, we have that setting, I think. So you can explore and you can enable also, if you are seeing more memory related to ad hoc, you know, you can also enable that one thing. Hmm? If you, like, if you are seeing more memory occupied by the ad hoc queries. Okay, coming to back to our discussion team. So this is called like logical read and physical read. See, if you see here, logical read, right? See, it is, uh, logical read is happening, but, uh, like it is scanning the 7,612 pages it is reading team. Because all the data it has to convert, you know, see, physical reads also happening, getting into the memory. Memory also like these many pages are reading, you know. See, that's why it takes a lot of time. Team. Okay. So, yeah. So, to avoid this one team, like what you can do, huh? it's like if you have any, uh, this kind of issues team, like... Uh, uh, suggest them always use the same data type and the same length team. So this way you can uh, you can save a lot of memory and CPU. Thank you team. Thanks for watching uh, this video. And uh, I have uploaded a lot of videos my in my YouTube channel team. You can go and watch uh, these uh, uh, videos. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if you like this video, like uh, click on like and share it to uh, your friends and colleagues. Thank you, team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.